Touchdown. Boom. One-handed snag for an open receiver. Throw in it. Oh, touchdown. I'm open. I'm open. Touchdown. Just like that. What's going on, fellas? It's your boy, King Sponge. We're here with a NCAA 14 video college football playoffs, March Madness style. When you think of the college football playoffs, you probably think of basketball, March Madness. Maybe not, but you do think of elite level competition, playing it all on the line for a chance at glory in the Natty Championship. And that is what we're doing today. Putting it on the line with 64 teams. The top 64 teams from this last 2023-24 college football season will be squaring up on the gridiron. That is what uh, it's all about in this video. I think that the playoffs expanding to 12 teams next year is a great start. I wouldn't complain if it was like March Madness, 64 teams, bunch of chaos in the spirit of college football playoffs and in the spirit of this expansion. I am gonna come at you with March Madness style football so you could see what that would look like. All right, folks, we're back with the filled out bracket. I just went with the top 64 power ranked teams uh, based on this recent season, 2023 uh, NCAA season. So this is what it turns out to be. This is what the seeds shape up. So let's start with the West. In the West, region we have michigan as the one seed taking on boston college first game kansas versus ucla liberty versus wyoming lsu air force iowa kentucky missouri florida troy and toledo florida state versus boise state so that's an intriguing region for sure kick it down to the east region we'll take a look and see texas playing south carolina north carolina duke a little in-state battle there oklahoma state northwestern just good matchups across the board um notably in the south region washington one seed um smu with a great season came in at that fifth seed a lot of solid games here honestly uh, new mexico state with a good season as well so uh, a lot of good games taking place and then finally in the midwest we got alabama leading the one seed uh going against wisconsin in the first round a few other good matchups tulane maryland miami versus miami ohio battle for Who's Miami is it? <laughs> uh, K-State, West Virginia, Oregon, UCF. Yep, a lot of good games across the board. So let's get into the action and see what happens. See who can come out on top. All right, let's sim to the end of the game. See what happens here. So Michigan strikes first as expected. Shutting out Boston College. Almost done with a half. The Boston College, wow, played it close there. Gave up a touchdown halftime. Boston College strikes for seven. Three for Michigan. 17-7. Boston College staying in this. Oh, my goodness. 20 to 21 to 24. Let's watch this onside kick. It's getting a little hectic out here. And Michigan recovers. That should be the game, but wow. The madness is already starting. The March Madness is already starting. Two-yard rush, 15-yard rush. That's going to call a game right there. Touchdown, 24-yard pass. That is going to end it for Boston College. So Michigan advances. All right, next game up, we got eight seed KU going up against nine seed UCLA. Let's see how this one unfolds. UCLA strikes fast, and they get three more. 10 zip, 17 zip. This is looking like a blowout, but KU says they want to score and get eight, and they score before half. This game's coming in closer, down by 15. All right, down by three, or they scored three. And that's probably going to cap it off here. Taking this one home. Good tackle there. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle. Going deep. Incomplete. All right, well, I just realized our fifth seed, Liberty, is not, unfortunately, in the game. Um, that's a bummer. Yeah, I, I apologize, Liberty friends. Um, Next game, when the new NCAA game comes out, we'll get you right. But 
for the sake of the bracket, that is going to have to be a forfeit and Wyoming is automatically moving on. That was going to be Liberty versus Wyoming, fifth seed versus 12th seed. Wyoming gets to advance due to um, Liberty just not being in the game. All right, dialing up our next game. LSU, fourth seed versus 13th seed Air Force. Let's see what happens. Air Force strikes quick. 7-0. Air Force on the move again, up 10-0. LSU is getting stifled by this Air Force defense going into the second half. They get a safety. 8-17-8. Wow, this game is getting insane. Let's slow it down. Massive fumble by LSU to give Air Force the ball with third and goal to go. Can they cash in? He's got a man. Touchdown, Falcons. Wow. All right. We're in line for a upset in Baton Rouge. LSU strikes quick. Fourth and 10. They're settling for their field goal. Going to be down by seven if they can make this. Going to have to get the onside kick. There we go. Air Force snags the ball. Get down safely. Can they kill this clock and get on out of here? seed is upsetting number four seed did you all have that in your brackets it's march it's madness what a story falcons are leaving baton rouge with the w heisman winner Jaden daniels couldn't get the job done against the falcons wow crazy it's march all right, next on deck, it's number six, Iowa, going up against number 11, Kentucky. This is a pretty evenly matched up game, but in real life, Iowa had the better season. Let's see what goes down. Kentucky strikes first. Kentucky 10, zip. Iowa strikes with a touchdown, 10-7, 16-7. Okay, Iowa gets a field goal, touchdown. They're back on top for half. Nothing gets down there, up by one still. This game is tight. Kentucky keeping it close. Iowa 31. Kentucky 22. Let's jump in. This is getting close. Kentucky is threatening. First and goal. Down by nine. They need a quick score here. Can they get it? Wow. Had his man. Dropped it. Outside. Found the running back. Pushes. He was denied. Chris Rodriguez cannot get in. That is just about to gonna seal it. For Iowa. All right, three seed Missouri up against 14th seed Florida. Should be another good game inbound. Florida comes up quick with the touchdown. Missouri strikes right back 7 7. Florida 14 7. 14 14. This game is getting tight. Florida again answers with their own touchdown. Missouri not doing much. 28. Okay, we got to slow it down. 28-21. Can the defense make a hold? Fifteen back there looking like Tim Tebow. Chewing clock. Can Missouri... And they're not going to be able to do it. So, Florida, with that, that is going to be the ball game. We back with number seven, Troy, taking on number 10, Toledo. Um, this region has already gotten wild with a four-seed LSU and three-seed Mizzou getting knocked off. Let's see what happens here. Toledo strikes first. Can Troy respond? Clock is ticking. Playing some good defense out there for Toledo. Three points for Troy. Going to half with a touchdown, though. That is big. Gives them the lead and some momentum. 17-7. It's 24-7. And this game is just about over. 38-7. Wow. All for not. 38-14. Troy is advancing. All right, final game of the West region. We got the Boise State Broncos, the 15th dude. seed against number two, <laughs> Florida State. 
Broncos come up quick with the first touchdown. That's two in a row. Is an upset brewing? Nope. Florida State says, hold on. 21-7, 24-14. This is a high-intensity game. 17 to get three. Who's going to score? Fourth quarter action. I'm going to have to jump in. This is getting nuts. 21-17. Florida State on the move. They do not want to go down. Fourth down play. This is big. Boise State makes the stop. Unbelievable. Gashes him up the middle. Lonnie with a nine-yard run. That is honestly just about ready to ice this game. I think statistically they might have a chance with like 20 seconds left if they get all the stops here. But Lonnie says forget it. We're going to take it for eight. Florida State in shambles first down that is going to end the game crazy 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 upset here for the broncos down goes the 15th seed led by taylor green with 304 yards to the air boise state has a date with troy in the second round all right kicking it over to the east we got one seed texas Going against 16th seed South Carolina. This one shouldn't be too close, but funnier things happen in March. And South Carolina is tied it up. Taking the lead by three. Texas scores a touchdown. Another one before half. 21-10. South Carolina is not going away quietly, though. 28-24. This game is tight. I repeat, this game is not certain yet but can texas convert a third down here and get themselves into a good position they sure do going deep and that is an interception texas holds on despite the scare from south carolina they will advance to the next round all right, good old-fashioned rivalry game. Your 8th seed North Carolina Tar Heels going up against the ninth seed Duke Blue Devils. This should be a good rivalry game. Defensive battle to start the first quarter, but Carolina strikes with a touchdown. Tied it up. Duke back in at 7-7. Before half, Duke cashes in. Carolina says not to be outmatched. Touchdown. Another one. 21-21. This is another game coming down to the wire. This is the game. Can Duke's defense make a stand? Can they bend but not break? Happening quick, happening fast. Going to the end zone. He caught it. Oh my, Gavin Blackwell. He caught that ball. That is that man's first catch of the game. No bigger time. That running back had a lane. Touchdown, first play at OT. Duke waters to the house. Found his man up the seam. Touchdown, Tar Heels. This game is tied. And I just blew past a Drake May rushing touchdown. Found his man for a touchdown. If he hits this field goal, this game is going to its fourth round of OT. Oh my goodness. Quadruple OT. And it, there it goes. North Carolina is going to have a shot to win this game in fourth OT. Man, we're going to the fifth round of OT. This game will never end at this rate. <laughs> Hope you enjoy fireworks. That's what we're getting. And a big third and 17 conversion. I don't even know what to call it. Fifth OT. And they find the man. Touchdown. He got him. He hit the man. That is going to be just about wraps, if I had to guess, unless Duke has some inspirational drive right here. Gets it off. Finds a man. That's going to be first and goal. OT, this has got to be one of the greatest rivalry games of all time. Hands it off. Does not get there. 
North Carolina finally wins after five rounds of overtime. The chess match is over, but my goodness, what a game. That was insane. May, 452 yards passing, five touchdown passes, stud. Okay, if we haven't had enough excitement already, March Madness is off to a wild start. Oklahoma State, five seed versus Northwestern, the 12th seed. Let's see what happens here. Oklahoma State quick, Northwestern responds quick. Oklahoma State scores faster than I can even talk. They're up 28-7. This game is going to be a blowout at this rate. 35-7. to seven. Northwestern, can they do anything? 17. Scrapping back in here little by little, but it's too little too late. Oklahoma State's going to run away with this one. 49-24. Oklahoma State advances. Next up, 4-seed Louisville going up against the 13th seed Auburn. Should be a good game as well. Louisville up 7-zip. 14 zip. Okay, they're playing some tough football out here. Auburn getting stifled. 21 0 going into the second half. They get three. This game is just about wraps. 28 3, barring an insane comeback. This game is going to be over. Louisville taking it home. All right, six seed NC State taking it on against number 11 Memphis. Let's see what can go down. Down. Anything's possible in March. 3-0 Memphis. Second quarter. Touchdown. NC State Wolfpack. 10-3. This is a defensive battle going into the third quarter. 23. NC State pulling away. Their defense too strong. 27-3. They're out of here with a win. On to the next round for them. So we got number three, Penn State, rolling up against 14th Virginia Tech. We have had not many close games after that five rounds of OT from North Carolina and Duke. So let's see what Virginia Tech, Penn State. So far, an upset is brewing. Penn State down by seven going into the second half, 24-10. As soon as I say something, right, this gets exciting. I think we're going to have to jump in. Second and 12 for Virginia Tech. Can they keep it rolling? Found his man up the middle. All right, thrown away pass. 28 yards and a touchdown. That is just about going to do it. Can Penn State respond? Fumble recovered. Virginia Tech is going to walk out of here. Massive upset. Another 14 seed upsetting the three. And that is going to advance us to the next. Craziness of March keeps rolling on. We got the seven seed Utah Utes going against number 10, Texas A&M. Now for a 10 seed March Madness, this team is a bit underrated, I'd say. I mean, they're a weird team in real life. Couldn't seem to get it clicking, but still got some guys, you know. So uh, Portal hit them hard, but they got some dudes. And it's uh, looking like another tight game. A&M, like I said, wow, this is a shootout going into the second half. Oh my goodness. Just like that, Utah survives in a shootout, winning the game 49 to 38. And that'll wrap it up for the Utes. And wrapping it up in the East region, we got Ohio State, a deadly two seed led by Starvin Marvin Jr., one of the top prospects coming to the draft, going up against 15 seed Fresno State. Fresno State, though, strikes first. High game, 7-7. Seven, 14-7 seven. Seven, Fresno State. What is going on? 21-7 Ohio State. What is, what is happening here? 28-14. Is this another upset brewing? 35-14. Fresno State. What is going on in March Madness, guys? Across the middle. No way. Fresno State. It's March. It's crazy. It's madness. Last gas, man. I think this game's wraps. Three touchdown underdog. They better try to score quick. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down at the 
Go into the end zone. Got a man. Cameron Babb, touchdown. But I think this is a little too late. Let's just see what happens. Change of possession. Fresno State even gets a field goal. Icing on top. This game is over. Fresno State is walking away as a massive upset over number two, the Ohio State. I can't believe what we're seeing in March right now. All right, can it get any wackier than what March has already shown us? Two, two seeds already dropped off by Mountain West schools. Can the one seed roll Washington against Georgia Tech? Georgia Tech, the 16th seed, looking like they're falling behind early 28 to 10. Washington in a battle, but they're going to pull away. This is going to go decisively to UW with a big win, 40 to 20. The Huskies come out victorious. This should be a massive eight versus nine seed game. Eighth seed Clemson against ninth seed USC. Which way will it go? Anything goes here in March. We're in Clemson. USC takes the early lead. Clemson with a couple field goals. Tight defensive battle scoring before half, though. USC bounces back up by one, up by four. Clemson says no. This is a two-score game now. Clemson dropping back, looking to the end zone. Got a man, but that is deflected. Last second breakup. This could, in effect, be the game. Clemson defense, can they stand strong? Bullet for Taj Washington, 25-yard snag. Caleb Williams has nowhere to go. Sack. This defense is playing great defense. Yeah, in a major way. Massive sack. That's game. Clemson's coming home with it. We got Arizona, the four seed, going up against 13 seed Texas Tech. Arizona looking mighty impressive uh, coming out the Alabo Bowl with a win over Oklahoma in real life. That freshman quarterback looking very good. But Texas Tech says, hey, we're in this game. We got a chance. But Arizona takes the lead 21, 28, 17. Going into the fourth, what could happen here? Wow, okay. Held up by his own dude there. That was that was intense. <laughs> Gash play. Taj Brooks. First and goal. So threatening to the end zone. Going deep. Got a man. Touchdown. Tech taking the lead. And getting the extra point. Can Arizona respond? Tyler Show with a show of a game. One minute, 14 seconds left. All timeouts down by four. Can the Wildcats drive? Screen. Needs 10. He got it. Wow, got 12. He sets up a big one, but that's a massive pick. Number 10, Tech seals the win for the Red Raiders. Next up after that upset, we got Oregon State. Versus Iowa State. Looks like the 6th seed versus the 11th seed. Oregon State strikes first. Iowa State scores back with a touchdown of their own. Takes the lead. A couple minutes before half, Oregon State gets the touchdown. Going into the second half, looks like it's still a low-scoring defensive battle. But Iowa State takes the lead. We have to jump in here with two minutes left. Iowa State threatening. This could be game. Another upset. 11th seed Iowa State could upset Oregon State here. But there's still time and timeouts on both team sides. So let's see if Oregon State's defense can hold. Iowa State with a read option. Quarterback keeper gets a massive first down. Third and five. Going to the air. Fourth and one. Oh my goodness. This defense is ferocious. That is going to wrap up this game. I, Unless a miracle, 4th and 24, I think the Cyclones will walk away here victorious. But hold on. Hold on. 
18 seconds left. Massive completion on fourth and 24. A little bit of beaver magic still alive. I, I admit, I was not a believer in that second, but they got 16 seconds left. Take that time out. Let's see. Picked. That will seal it. Defense hold strong for Iowa. And he's hurt, or someone's hurt, but that's game. We got three seed Old Miss going up against 14 seed Rutgers. March Madness has been just crazy, crazy, crazy fireworks so far. Um, a lot of good football games, man. But Old Miss taking the two touchdown lead here early. This one is up quick. Uh, 20 to 7. Rutgers, will they do something? 23 7, hanging in there defensively a little bit, but nah, this game's coming to an end. Ole Miss walking away with an obvious dub, 37 7. On deck, Tennessee, 7th seed versus 10th seed UTSA. Fun fact I was able to catch a UTSA game this year. They're up early. Um. Holding early, too. Defense holding Tennessee to zero points right now at half. 13 zip. What are we doing? All right. There's Tennessee football scoring a couple more. Fourth quarter action, man. UTSA takes it in. We're going to jump in, see what's happening here. Does he go far? Good defensive stop. Ooh, at this point, I have no idea who's going to be the champ because I can't even say with confidence a one seed is going to walk away with it because there's so many upsets. I don't know what's going to happen. Stay tuned, man. Joe Milton needs this first down. And his receiver sells him. A QB keeper. Runs over a man with power. That was a run. Big sack. No one getting open for these guys, man. Wow. Again. Tennessee faltering. Trevor, three sacks, two in a row. Tennessee offensive line is in shambles. UTSA bringing the action, man. Third and 26. Oh, my goodness. Nowhere to go. Fourth and 25. Game on the line. It didn't seem very convincing at all for the Volunteers this game. Okay, another two seed on the clock against 15th seed Cal. What can they do? It's March. 7-3 game. Will Georgia continue their dominance? It's Cal staying in this game. 17-7 taking the lead. Georgia, are you there? 14-17, 20-14. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Going deep. Dogs. Got a man, 84. Bounces around, gets him into the red zone. Lad McConkey with an absolute catch that might prove to be catch of the game. Empty set. Looking, finding a man. Touchdown, Kendall Milton. Extra point will give him the lead with 31 seconds left. Can Cal do anything with three timeouts in 31 seconds? Or go for nothing. And Georgia holds on and wins the game. All right, now bouncing out to Mountain West region coverage. One seed Bama versus 16 seed Wisconsin. Strikes awfully fast with two touchdowns. Three touchdowns. Oh, my, no way. 31-0 over Bama. NCAA game. Bama fans. What? They're coming back. They got a nasty little comeback coming, but fourth and five. Wisconsin just rubbing it in, going for it. They don't even care. Sorry, Bama fans. They don't care. Fourth and five. Wisconsin going for it. They got the upset, man. They won. I, I don't see with this little time left if you can do anything. Wisconsin snapping. Dropping back. First down. That's game. Alabama officially upset. The first one seed to get knocked off is in the Mountain West region. 16th seed Wisconsin led by Tanner Mordecai. 379 yards and four touchdown passes has officially iced this game. 
That is victory formation. The Badgers are moving past Bama. If March Madness isn't wacky enough already, we got the battle for Miami up here. Eighth seed Miami going against ninth seed Miami of Ohio. Who will come out on top? Miami, Ohio strikes first. 10 to 0. Will the University of Miami respond? Which Miami can rule all of Miami's? 14 10 Hurricanes, 21 10 Hurricanes, 17. They strike back. Wow, the Red Hawks are in this game. Tie ball game. Hurricanes are up. It's going to end the game. 34 24. University of Miami wins. All right, folks, five seed Tulane taking on 12th seed Maryland. This is a defensive battle so far. Maryland scores first. Tulane strikes back. 10-7 before half. Can Maryland score? Yes, 10-10. Tie game. Tulane up by seven. Going into the fourth. Let's see what happens here. Intercepted. Maryland's ball. Can they drive it down the field? They do. 33-yard touchdown pass. This game is getting intense. They're going for the pass. Third and seven. They want to go for a touchdown and the win. And they get their man. This will be an upset over five seed Tulane. Twelfth seed for the win. He got it. Tulane. Absolute trash. Management of the clock. A 13th seed, Ohio Bobcats coming down to Notre Dame. Can they get the job done? Tie game so far. Both not converting the extra point. But Notre Dame takes the touchdown lead. This is a battle. Notre Dame up by 10. Can they get some cushion? No, Ohio scraps back in. Notre Dame still up by 10, though. Ohio not to be denied. But that is another touchdown from the Irish Give them hope. Hand off. Up the middle. Touchdown. Let's see if he's got the leg. That looks like a far one. Off the post. No good. Ohio gets the ball at that spot and a chance. 13th seed Ohio looking to make a statement in March. It's their March, they feel, and they get the first down. <laughs> a big first down here would be massive. Yo, they got a hurry. They got a hurry. Oh, my goodness. Five, four, three, two, one. Clock expires. Ohio, you guys sold it and lose the game. Unfortunate for them, but on go the Irish. All right, James Madison out here representing in March Madness. Six seed versus 11th seed, you know, the... Let's see what they can do. Up 3-0. Can James Madison win their first playoff game? Up 6-0. A couple field goals. Their defense holding strong until two touchdowns in a row by UNLV. They are looking for blood. 17-6. JMU. Can they cash in? Now, unfortunately, UNLV will take that one. So, unfortunate for JMU fans. But UNLV came through when it mattered most and will walk away with an upset. Six seed, James Madison. Down they go. App State, a team known for being the David and David and Goliath battle. But can they do it again today? Looks like 14 zip Oklahoma off to a hot start. Hard to stop the Sooners once they get moving. 21 zip. This one is looking like a blowout. App State is going to go down. Oklahoma will advance from the first round decisively. Um, so that's going to do it. Sooners up 35. App State 7. All right, folks. We got 7 seed K-State going up against 10 seed West Virginia. My Cats. Let's see what they can do. Um, Big 12 matchup here, and they're down quick, 10-0, but they strike back with a touchdown. Um, there we go, up by four. West Virginia, though, 
Getting close, but no cigar. 21-10, Cats. 17-21, West Virginia with a field goal. This is getting interesting. Cats. Okay, let's dive in. 151, can the Cats finish this game? Third and 10, first down would be massive. But a stop here is exactly what the Mountaineers want. Will Howard, dropping back. Sacked. A huge, huge play, actually. This makes it a difficult field goal. Um, so let's see what they can do. This will effectively give us the game, I would say, but let's see what happens. Got it. No, he missed it. I could not tell from that angle. West Virginia's got life with the touchdown and two-point conversion. Don't know where he's going. In 14, West Virginia needs something big. Almost picked. Fourth down. Who will step up? Who will make a play? Green dropping back. No, sir. 31-20. And move on to the next round. All right, and conclude the first round of 64. Number two, Oregon, going up against number 15, UCF. This will be a game, but Oregon is such a powerhouse that my money is on them. Um, but let's see if the Big 12 and UCF can make things interesting. This March Madness has been full of surprises and upsets. So um, Oregon up by 20. But UCF comes back with one of their own. Oh, 34-14. Too little, too late. That's going to wrap it up. Oregon gets the convincing dub. Okay. So here's a quick update. The first round is over. All the matchups are set for the second round. We got some exciting ones. A lot of upsets, man. A lot of upsets. So uh, keep your 10 toes down. And we're going to the round of 32, the second round. It's your boy King Sponge signing out. Just want to say thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the round of 64. Stay tuned for the round of 32, Sweet 16, Elite 8, Final 4, and ultimately the crowned champion of March Madness in the national championship. So be on the lookout for that coming very soon. So hope you had as much fun as I did putting this together. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. King Sponge out. What's my definition of success? Listening to what your heart says.